Hi, I'm Georgia, and I'm the person behind the Instagram account Plants and Things. Today I'm going to be showing you how to propagate a pink princess philodendron. And hope you enjoy it. God, this is a beautiful cutting. This is going to be an interesting video. I'm not going to, not going to lie. <laughs> I've got. I'm filming a video. Hi everybody. I don't know how often should I say that. This has got to be disinfected so you don't get any virus or bacteria into the wound of your cutting because they're particularly vulnerable. Okay. I've got rooting powder which is different from the cloning paste I was just talking about because this has auxins in it which stimulate root growth where the cloning paste has cytokinines. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this stuff right, by the way. Just not, not sure that I am, but I'm saying things anyway. Um, cytokinines are the cloning paste stuff that I talk about a lot in my stories. Um, and that induces new nodes or flowers. And I've got nursery pots. Because I have a thing that sits on my heater and it's easy. And then I've got sphagnum moss and water. Um, and then the most important part, I have a cutting for a plant that's going to be cuttings. Ta -da. I've done this a bunch of times and it's still nervous. It's still nerve-wracking to do. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to try and do is separate... I'm trying to separate the leaf from the stem as much as I can so that... I can try, what I'm trying to do is cut midway between the nodes so that each side gets as much as possible. But this is going to be the bottom part of the plant that I leave. Um, oh yeah, they also look like they bleed pink. It smells really strong. Go in between. Right there. Let's see if I can do it here. Go right in between. And then we've got our two cuttings. So I'm gonna let these callus over. I don't know. I guess I'll take questions or something. For Just the last part. Um, I need to dip these guys in reading hormone and cover them in sphagnum moss, and then put them in the nursery pots. It helps if you can get to it. Um, I have a bowl of sphagnum moss, but you also have to make sure that you squeeze out the water. Um, that is a common problem, because you just want it to be damp. You can see aerial roots. Um, and I'm trying to get contact with those because they'll start growing and then um, I definitely do. I like to do like a bed, a bed of moss and then cover the other side with it. Hi, so this is the cutting that I made. It's been sitting in a humidity box for about a week now, and it is going crazy with roots. That pink is going to fade because it, all the sap drained out of the bottom. That's okay. The cells are in there, so probably the next leaf or two leaves later, is gonna have 
pink like this. All right, and that's how you propagate a pink princess. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos on planty things. Thank you guys.